Top tier chat. Top tier. Head to the door when you're ready, bud. Will do. Ah! I need to stop moving the cursor to like sides of the map. Just keep in the middle. <sighs> Josh, unlock this door. And a boy. Level six lock picking. Mm. Although I think Josh just leveled up, so you know he did. So I'm gonna be getting in there. Thanks. Mm, good stuff. Good stuff. All right, speed for Joshy boy. Perks. Animal whisper. They gain con and damage. Heck yes. I'd like it if my animals would stop dying so often. We go find like a puppers, we pet the puppers, and it's like, oh, I love the puppers, and then five seconds later, they're dead. Cool. There must have been some kind of haircut. Yep, that's, that's the one. That's what happened here. You nailed it, bud. Hooligan times one. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Eat my shorts, Rangers. Wow. Thanks. Now I've got to find another job. Assholes. Dickwads. Guess they don't like us. That's fine by me. Like, <laughs> he's going to jail, and I swear I don't care what these guys are saying. We did good, chat. We did good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Snog. Good stuff. Would you rather freeze to death or burn? You're a barrel of monkeys, huh? Now come on, answer the question. All right, all right. Burn. You're gone faster than free cremation, so your family saves a few bucks on the funeral. Brown and chocolate pudding for me. Talk to the drone. Yeah, we can. Nice to see the city back to life, huh? Yeah, people were shopping and building. Well, rebuilding. Almost like we were never attacked at all. It's gonna take months to recruit enough new marshals to replace the ones we lost, though. Yeah. Here they are. That was one hell of a sneaky way to get Brigo to surrender. Round of applause for the Rangers, marshals. I hear you keep him Brigo and Ranger Locker, and I won't say I ain't disappointed. I wanted him here, but at least that shitty nightclub is shut down. Now folks will know what'll happen if they lay hands on a marshal. Your rock keepers after my own heart. Around here, we always remember who our friends are. Yeah! Now I said I'd owe you a favor if you took care of this for me, and I meant it. Thing is, Delgada owes you two, big time. So I'm sending him over to your base to manage your armory. He'll take good care of you. Hell yeah. Thanks again. No! You know where to rustle me up. What do you need, Rangers?
Now that we're acquainted, we have a delicate question. The patriarch appears in poor health, so who steps in when he dies? Why? Want me to say it should be you? We're here to complete a mission, that's all. Spoken like a good soldier. Didn't mean to put you on the spot. Okay, maybe I did. You said the next leader of Colorado when you finish with marshals. Are we friends now? I like you, Rangers. But a girl needs to be sure before she commits, if you know what I mean. We ain't quite there yet. Okay. What's on your mind? It's like, want a mutiny? Tell us about the pillories, yeah. It's good old-fashioned Colorado justice. We slap lawbreakers into the pillories, strip them down, and let the cold do its work. You can't go easy on traitors and criminals, not in a place like this. Not with the wasteland right outside the walls. Only thing keeping us civilized is the law, and folks need to see what happens to people who break it. Can you fill us in on the marshals? Best damn outfit in the city. We're independent and tough as hell. Only person we answer to is the patriarch. No offense to the hundred families, but they're not welcome in the marshals. My boys and girls are ordinary folks who had to struggle for what they've got. That's the way I like it. What's your story? Oh, I've been here a long time, Rangers. Started out as the Patriarch's bodyguard about 30 years ago. And he liked my style. Guess I was a cute young thing back then. After I helped him whoop the Plains gangs, he put me in charge of the Marshals. Been doing the job ever since. Never gave him cause to complain. I keep things nice and peaceful around here. All right. What have you got for me? Nope, that's it. Roger that. Cool. All right. Travel to the bazaar and confront the human smugglers. It's the next one we got. Wow. Come in, Team November. Ranger HQ here. A squad of BAMPs rolled up to Ranger HQ. Rough mercenary types. Their leader goes by Gary Wolf. Claims to be an ex Ranger. Says he has news for you about your old enemy. Sounds really familiar. Seems like the cutthroat, take no prisoner type. Over. Old enemy. No idea. Your guess is as good as mine. Are they causing any problems? It's a negative. Some hurt feelings and broken pottery, maybe. But they appear to be friendlies. Bamps? Bad ass motherfuckers. Copy that, Ranger HQ. We'll check we'll it out. Be here. Over and out. Thank, dude. All right. Doesn't look like that's a rush. Huh. For some reason, I was thinking that was like a thing for us to jump out. That's okay. While we're here, though, so I think we might have to actually go to the world map. It might be time to finally. Uh, Boy, Lucy is down at the old air base to do the rain. <laughs> Almost eight hours into the game, go to the world map. You think he really is sick? 
I heard he fired his doctor. Maybe he didn't like the diagnosis. Then they... They were here. Their spirits filled the place. Now... They do not. My dearest Lucia, I pray this message finds its way to you, as it is the last I am ever likely to give. Whatever becomes of us, we must blame yourself. I know you would have wanted to be here at the end, but I'm glad you are not. Open the door, Wesson! Time to face justice! Your mother and I love you very much, and we are so proud of you for what you've become. You are destined for great things, Miss Lucia Wesson. I regret that I shall not live. What's up, Falcone? How you doing, bud? That's awful. Weird place for them to like put it back in the safe, too. To be honest, kind of impressive. Not not pointing out any problems with that. I'm just saying, in interesting place for that to go back into. Um, <clears throat> just yeah. Just uh, pointing that one out. <laughs> <laughs> little uh unique now yeah. okay completed missions I'm welcome to guess. Um, where is this bazaar? Yeah, okay, so it, it, it is out. So we actually should be going to Ranger HQ. Actually, there's a Cody out? What is this? Oh, is this her car? Okay, and while we're running over there, let's level up really quick, because we did level. Um, sniper rifles, please. Yeah, uh, and sneaky shit. Sneaky shit is good shit. Okay. Game. Game. Oh my god. And I, I still have one slot. So, actually, I am going to move on. Yeah. Um, hit chance is 5%. Wish there was just like a straight up. Oh, there is straight up credit chance. Let's do more luck. Um, barter. That's pretty pog. 5%. Where they happen. Con. Armor would be kind of nice. Weathered would be nice. I think, think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do the. <laughs> do evasion. I'll do evasion. That sounds good. That sounds really good. Um, she leveled up again. So let's give her another awareness point. She's unbelievably aware for us. Um, give her another small arms point. Should be a lot of skill points again. And then. Yeah. First deck after reloading an M. The weapon costs no AP. She's nuts. She's getting kind of zany. Shotguns do 100% damage versus cover. Hold on. Hold on. Girlio. You're our shotgun friend? Um, one sec. I don't, I don't think this clicked. That this is small arms. But now that it has... Um, 19 to 28? I'm gonna really enjoy that. Yeah. 100% versus cover. Cover means nothing to those shotguns now. That's gonna be great. Sure you wanna travel to Colorado? I do. 
I'd like to see the real Colorado. Show me it. We've been in Colorado Springs for so long, I don't even know. It's like dark and rainy outside today, chat. Yay! No wonder it's so cool today. I love it. I'm gonna actually open my window. Life is good. Life is great. What? World map intro. The world map allows you to traverse Colorado in your trusty Kodiak to explore and find cities and settlements in need as well as experience random encounters that may bring fortune, trade, danger, all three at once. Once you get a tip on a new location, hear about the place to explore, it'll be marked on your map screen with a star. It's up to you to find a safe place to pass there. If you get stuck in the snow, you can call Gonzalez for a tow by left clicking on the radio on the top left or pressing the forward dash. This who? No idea who you are. <laughs> real funny rangers, real fucking funny. I caught one before they all got in the door. Well, how do you like their jokes? The rest of them go when I get bored, rangers. So you better hurry, cause I was born restless. Well, that's where we're heading then. Come in November 1. Receiving an urgent distress call in your area. Patching it through. This is Arapaho 44. We're pinned down on 25 south of Colorado Springs. Two escorts killed, and these motherfuckers are circling back. Oh, fuck! Here they come! Oh, fuck! 44. Are you there, 44? The Rangers will get somebody to your location right away. Copy? 44. You copy? Ah. <sighs> Lost contact. You heard them, November. And listen, this isn't just any convoy. A-44 is hauling new power armor for the marshals. Sounds important. It is. The Patriarch will expect us to make recovering that power armor our highest priority. Get there fast, and you should be able to save that cargo. Over and out. Oh. Two groups of people are under threat, and you only have time to save one of them. You can see which direction each is in by looking at the indicators on the edge of your map. Oh. Chat, what do I do? I don't really know. Should I be saving, like, the Hoon family people? Or should I be getting the power armor?
We got the Hoon family and <sighs> is the Hoon family part of the hundred families? I hate choices like this. This dude's just gonna keep causing problems if we don't kill him though. All right, we're gonna go get the power armor instead of saving the family. <sighs> okay, that's Russian, back this way. Nope. We gotta stop the Russians from getting power armor. That sounds like a good reason to me. No Russian power armor, chat. I refuse. <laughs> that was the correct decision. I've made the correct decision. Stop the Russians. How oh, Jervis. See, he agrees. He did a big sigh. No Russian power armor chat. That's illegal. Uh, Samoom, so we got put in an awkward space. We got two different distinct calls. One was saying that there was a family under attack because a guy was trying to lure us out and force us to come fight him after he killed their brother. The second option was that a convoy was being attacked and they had some type of well, power armor. Um, which some of the factions we're close with would care very much about. Get away with this. They'll hire mercenaries and put you to death like rabid dogs. You pathetic shit. You think we're scared of a few mercs? I won't give you to Slave Master Harji. I'm gonna keep you for myself. You can watch me murder rangers for years. When you finally lose hope, we'll use your head as a hood ornament. <sighs> Let's get started after I take your supplies. I don't like any of the words he just said. That all sounded awful. All right, squad. You gonna see him? Cool. That was not ideal. I didn't get everyone in the position I wanted. But I got most of them there. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, take, take the head.
Oh my god, our caravan gets a turn? Nah, Morgan's just gonna get put on Overwatch. No, it's called Ambush, but... They may have made that a kind of harder spot to go to. Oh boy, what have I done? Oh, that's the bomb, dude. Wait, did she just get down? Oh, Jesus. Am I, am I stupid? Well, I got an achievement for that. Because I totally did just shoot my own thing. Which, wow, can't even. Literally cannot even. I can't believe I downed my own tank. How dumb can you be? I'm so dumb. I deserve that. Over here. 
here, guys. He's using the wrong gun. Oh. That's rough. Why are we looting? Hold on. Who said this was a good idea? I didn't vote for that. Morgan gonna go back and unincapacitate Rami. Just gonna go hide now. Okay, run over here. Take the shot. I blow, but you're all dead. I'm trying to call no. No. I'd like to heal my vehicle. Is that not something we have on us? I'm sure it is. Yeah. Okay. No. This woman noticed of November's approach. It's hard to see her agony, agony wrought face. She's sitting in an alarmingly large full blood. Diagnose her wounds. She has severe conditions and lacerations. Chunks are missing from her arm and her arms. The worst of the bleeding could be stemmed with a suture kit. That would help ensure she survives the trip back to civilization. Please. Help. I have one of those. I know I do. Suture kit. Pog. Look at that. Thank you. Thought I was a goner. Okay. 
Okay. Attributes. Let's get Morgan's strength up. Because she's the strongest lady I know. Mechanics or first aid? Probably this one. First aid allows overhealing. As a perk. Let's look at Mr. Joshua. Um, really want him to stop taking shots to the face. Lock picking level seven. Well, who am I to say no to that? Automatic weapons. Who am I to say no to that? <laughs> All right, uh, coordination, no. Strength, no. Charisma, no. Yeah, coordination. Give you more action points. Shit. Who the hell are you guys? Here to finish me off? What the Rangers name? We received your distress call and are here to help. The Rangers are real? joke to give people hope my ribs are cracked our caravan's been ransacked i'm drive train caravan leader if you save my people i'll owe you how can we help find my people they're wounded scared definitely weren't prepared for this our medic, Sirens, Sirens was in my car when those half metal pieces of shit dragged him out. Now he's gone. I just hope there are others left to find. What can you tell us about the attack? It happened fast, Rangers. Routine run until we got here. Was riding in the center vehicle with our cargo. Lead vehicle hit a spike trap. Tore up its treads. Almost plowed into them. Driver recovered. A professional. With a young daughter back home. Fuck. Flaming Hus came rolling. Out of the alley. Pinned the rear car. Then. Gunfire. And those assholes with saws for arms. Came at us. Damn. Okay. Real quick. I'm going to take a potty break, and we'll be right back, friend-a-roonies.